Hey guys, Richard from Welsh Tech. Right, this is my new series that I'm doing right now. It's called Battle of the Brands. This is the 360 from MSI versus the 360 from Be Quiet and the 280 from Corsair. Let's get into the video. Benchmarks will start now. Pool at one, but remember, right? These these temperatures are in a, an enclosed case. There's no um, there's no on on table bench. There's nothing like that. So this is more of a real realistic um, temperature base because it's it's all enclosed in a case. So as uh, with the five thousand D from Corsair. There's so much airflow going through this, and both tests, I put, I added no extra fans. It's only the fans that I've got in my case. So it just goes to show how cool these both, and even the Corsair one, run. Now, something I will say is the mag, uh, the, the mag pump, you can hear it, which is quite surprising because this only goes to about 4,000 RPM. This goes to nearly 6,000 RPM and it is whisper quiet. I, I could not believe it. it. It Amazing performance for the price. I mean, for a hundred pound these days, absolutely amazing. Now, the best thing about these coolers is the fact that they take the, the pump and they move it away from the block. That is one good aspect of these coolers that I really enjoy. I like it. I, I love the performance of both of them. So my recommendation is either one will do perfectly in your system. Now, me personally, I do like the mag more because it's got RGB, but be quiet, are sending me some of their new RGB light fans. So I'm gonna be putting this in my system and it's gonna be in it's gonna be a regular on these videos. It's gonna be my uh aio from now on and the fans are they going to be visible from here because from what i've seen on videos there rgb is very bright so yeah my recommendation any one of these will absolutely smash any type of system you want now i have got a ryzen 5 3600 now yeah it doesn't it, it's only a 65 watt part but it doesn't matter when when i was running these tests okay because I've got precision boost enabled, it ah oh, the the gigahertz was unbelievable. Mag was hitting four point three at one point three five volts. It's a little high, but that was amazing. The pull loop, it was hitting almost four point four gigahertz at one point four. Now. The temperatures, as you could see in these tests, were amazing for the amount of voltage they were given. I'm just so surprised. I could not believe how, how so much these two were up against each other. So many. There was, there was, so mu there was literally about three to four degrees ahead of each other. And it was, I just can't believe the results. So, yeah. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Do not forget to subscribe. I've got more Battle of the Brands coming. I'm going to be buying some more parts. Hopefully next year I will get some parts from Be Quiet. If they send them to me. I don't want to be greedy, but still. So yeah. Go buy any one of these. I recommend either one. They're, they're amazing. Bang for your buck prices. Under a pound for an AIO these days. 
when when i first bought the 280 from corsair it was 160 pound for a 280 no rgb nothing which is mad so yeah don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and also don't forget to check us out on facebook or welsh tech this is richard from welsh tech goodbye